Yeah, Coach, obviously they had a lot of things that went well, a lot of guys played well. What were your thoughts on the three-point shooting, the percentage of the different guys who, who made it for you? It's good to see the ball go in the hole. You know, when you take them, you're supposed to make them. I thought that Mike we did a good job of getting the ball moving around. We had 25 assists. So it means the ball was moving a little bit and guys made some shots. Seth on your right, and then Mike. You talk about the ball movement, just what allowed the guards to, you know, Trey and Gabe and all the guys, what allowed them to really kept, uh, be able to facilitate a shooting night like this? Well, again, when we've had good looks all year, you know what I mean? And the ball has moved some all year. You just got to stick the ball in the hole when you have the shots. And I thought tonight, you know, guys were comfortable. They shot it. They had the shot. They took it, and they made it. We had bodies moving, we set some screens, you know, that helps too, and we got some good looks. Mike on your left and Zach. Yeah, with Trey, you said you want to see him build on it, get a lean on him in the first half too, with Gabe getting into foul trouble. I mean, are you seeing a little bit different, any, anything different from him? You said you expect this, but just been playing with it seems like an effort a little bit. Well, I mean, again, you know, when Gabe got the two fouls, I mean, we, you know, Trey's basically our only ball handler big time on the floor. And, and I thought he, he did a great job in, in getting us in our, to our sets and getting the ball where it needed to go. And CJ helped out a little bit as well. Um, and then we were able to get Gabe back in. And I, we rested him a little bit. I went with him uh, for the half, even with the two fouls in front of just trying to be smart about not picking up his third. Zach on your left and Todd. Mike, I guess Malik rolls a little bit of all this in. You guys rebounded the ball better as the game went on. He hit all four of his threes, 25 points of career high. Just, I guess, sort of a two-parter, I suppose. Number one, just how much of a weapon can that three-point shot be for him? And how much can you maybe feel when it goes down that he finds a little bit of extra rhythm or a little bit of extra comfort offensively? Well, it helps. I mean, you know, he hadn't taken a whole lot of them this year. The fact that he's shot them all tonight in rhythm, you know, that helps. And that's, you know, with anybody that's shooting the three ball. I mean, if you sit there, you know, we've had this year quite a few where we set on the free three point line and wide open, we just didn't knock them down. And I thought tonight everybody who made them were in rhythm and felt pretty good. And it was kind of nice to see the ball go through the hole. Todd, on your right, and Mason, last one. Mike, because of the way the uh, game played out, you were able to get some extended minutes for Caleb, for CJ, for uh, for Peyton, uh, Anthony, and Leo too. Uh, what did, what, how do you feel they took advantage of it? Maybe what do they need to work on a little bit too? Well, again, they haven't played a whole lot of minutes, and you could see that some of the fatigue set in here with Peyton, the minutes that he played. Uh, but we just, you know, with that group, I got to do extra work. Because they're not getting big time minutes. And so when they're called upon, I expect them to play and produce. So, you know, we got to do extra work with that group, which we have been doing, but we got to continue that because you never know. Somebody goes down, you're going to have to depend on them for a, you know, a stretch of, of minutes that can help you win a basketball game. So we'll keep working with those guys. and. But I was pleased with their play tonight. They they did some good things for us, and uh, hopefully we can just grow from that. And after the break, come back ready and get ready for Kennesaw. Mason, last one. Coach, on Tuesday night, you guys had to come back late in the second half. Tonight, different story. You guys are able to kind of pace the field a little bit in that second half. Is there something to be said for just getting a win that, that felt comfortable throughout the night? Yeah, I mean, it's a win's a win to me um, because I'm always gauging based on how we play. And we didn't play particularly well in our last ball game in the first half. The second half when we went on our run, we started playing Indiana basketball. But tonight I thought we came out ready and we consistently played well throughout the course of the game. And the results was a win. All right, thanks coach. Merry Christmas to everyone. Enjoy your holidays.